The name of the piece is Veil. And for me, Veil is very significant. It's um, religious. It's uh, ceremonial. Um, it's a covering, you know, it goes in between the person and somebody else or something else. It separates, but it can also be lifted. You can lift a veil, a veil can be drawn, you know, it can go up and down, in and out. And a veil is a very, usually a sheer material or a soft something that's there, but it's, it's tangible, but it's light. It can be interpreted in many ways, but for me, I, I thought about the idea of somebody who is here and then somebody who is loved, but not necessarily there with you. And how do you demonstrate that interaction, um, which we all have that experience, whether it's through somebody who you care about leaving your, your life, whether they've just gone on, or whether it's somebody that you've passed on the street that had somehow there was a connection to you or you know of course through death where are those people what is our connection with them still or even in our relationships that continue on a daily basis you know when somebody is there but they're not necessarily really there with you what's important is that we see one side of the you know the conversation whether there's a reaction from the other side or not that's not important but we know that there is a focus from a to b that goes back and forth and how that interplays i will say to the dancers the B's, you're telling something to the A's, or A's, you know that the B's are there, or you don't know that the B's are there. So there is a connection on many different levels, whatever it is for the dancers. If the A's necessarily are just doing that walking motif and they're not seeing the B's, but there's, the B's are right there. So there's some sense, there's some interplay, and that's what I wanted to show. You know, even if you're not talking or even if you're not looking, that there is an interconnectedness. I like to have a divide because there are two groups. So the one group has more, we call them autumnal colors, but they're more earthy and they're kind of uh, pedestrian. So both sides have not a super dancerly look so that they are accessible you know, like a real person. And the other side, the bees have the lighter colors. And to me, it symbolizes the more ethereal a version of a person, a manifestation, or whatever it is. They could be the same, right? They're just a different version of that earthiness. It's somewhere else, it's something else. To give the, you know, the feeling or the idea to the audience that they can draw from themselves, what does that mean? How does that kind of extend the feeling? So for me, that's kind of just another layer of the idea.